For example, number 1.2, with a wooden ruler, you measure the length of a rectangular piece of metal sheet to be 12 millimeters. Okay, here's the length. You use micrometer calipers to measure the width of the rectangle and obtain the value of 5.98 millimeters. Give your answers to the following questions to correct number of significant figures. So before answering, evaluate first the units of measurements being used if they are of the same unit system. So here we have millimeters. We also have in millimeters. So we don't have to convert from one unit system to another. So let's proceed. What is the area of the rectangle? So the area of the rectangle is given by length times its width. Okay, so by multiplying 12 millimeters to 5.98 millimeters. So the answer would be 71.76 millimeters squared. But then take note, there are rules in multiplying. The number of significant figures in the result should be the same number of significant figures that has the fewest. Okay, so again, kung kitsa itong naipinakagamay o significant figures, sa number yung multiply so for example, I have here 1, 2, this has 2 numbers of significant figures. 1, 2, 3, so you'll have 3 numbers of significant figures. So the least is this 1, 2. So your final answer must have two numbers of significant figures. So we'll have 71. No. You'll have the adjacent side of your 1 is 7. So it will round off to 72 millimeters squared. For letter B, what is the ratio of the rectangle's width to its length? So it's asking for ratio of the rectangle's width to its length. So we'll be dividing that 1. 5.98 divided by millimeters divided by 12 millimeters. So the answer would be 0.49833. So the rule in dividing, the rule in the result is simply kinsa tong na pinaka least or pinaka few. Og number of significant figures. So this one has 3 and this one has 2. So your result must have 2 numbers of significant figures. So therefore, I have 4.9 supposed to be 0.49 rather. But the adjacent side of 9 is 8. So we round up to 0.50. No unit since these two can be cancelled out. For letter C, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? The perimeter of the rectangle is equal to twice the length plus twice its width. So you'll have 2 quantity times 10 to the 12 millimeters plus quantity, I mean 2 quantity times 5.98 millimeters. So the answer for this two is 24 plus 12.0 millimeters. And then you'll have 36 millimeters. Okay, again, the rule when adding, it's simply the number of decimal places in the result should be the same as the least of decimal places in any of the numbers being added. So this one has zero. There's no decimal point being placed. And this has one. So zero. So when adding, you'll have 36 millimeters. That would be the perimeter of the rectangle. D, what's the difference between the length and width? So, all you have to do is to subtract length to its width. So, you'll have 12 millimeters minus 5.98 millimeters. So, the answer would be 6.02 millimeters. Again, the rule when subtracting is that the number of decimal places in the result should be the same as the number of the least 
um, of decimal places in the numbers being added. So again, I repeat, this is a whole number. So again, the decimal place says 0, and this one has 2. So meaning to say, we need a whole number for its answer. So the answer would be 6 millimeters. Okay. Next, for letter E, what is the ratio of the length to the width? So, again, it's asking for the ratio of the length to its width. So, ratio of the length to its width. So, you'll have 12 millimeters all over 5.98 millimeters. Again, the units will be cancelled out. And at the same time, the answer when dividing 12 divided by, um, that would be 2.0066.88 and so on, blah, blah, blah. So the number of significant figures in the numerator is simply 2. And the number of significant figures in the denominator is so your answer must have two significant figures in the result. So you'll have the final answer would be 2.0.